Hey, it's James Weatherman here. How is everybody doing today? Back with an updated video about the July 8, 2020 tornado that was in Minnesota, Otter Tail, and Grant Counties. Uh, to the left upper hand corner, you see the radar. Bottom left hand corner, you see the tornado. The uh, initial report was an EF3. But they have upgraded to an EF4. Estimated peak winds was 170 miles per hour. A path length was 9 miles. And pass, pa max width is 650 yards. Injuries was 2 injuries and 1 death. The 2 injuries, they have been released. Um, and unfortunately, 1 male has passed away. Initial touchdown occurred 6.5 miles west of Ashby in Grant County, tracked northeastward until lifting 5 miles east of Dalton in Otter Tail County. A rapidly developing supercell thunderstorm produced a long-lived and deadly tornado that originally touched down in far northern Grant County as a weak tornado EF0 to an EF1, then quickly intensified into a strong to violent tornado as it crossed into the southern Otter Tail County, Minnesota, near Minneapolis or Minnesota 70 on Interstate 94. The tornado intensified to a strong tornado EF2 to an EF3 as it moved northeastward through southwestern St. Olaf Township and crossed BB Lake. It likely reached maximum EF4 intensity after it crossed Highway 2 and destroyed a machine shop and yard on the downward side. It then continued northeast direction and reached both maximum width and intensity as it moved across rural homestead along 120th Street into Blackland Lake. The tornado continued in northeast direction, producing mainly tree and cropland damages as it crossed County Road 117 north of Kavam Church. Video Imagery and deep ground score indicated that the tornado maintained its intensity as a strong to violent tornado even as it narrowed and eventually began to rope out near 320th, 25th Avenue between 145th Street and County Road 12. The storm that produced this tornado continued eastward across southern Otter Tail County and may have produced one or more additional but brief tornadoes along its path. So this is just a brief update from yesterday's storm uh if you remember or not yesterday july 8th uh so two days ago um i had a video yesterday that i put out uh that was sent in by page i will show you briefly the video I'm literally shaking like we'll send you this video. Oh my god. Okay, are you guys gonna be safe? We're now? safe now. We're gonna be fine. It's not it's not gonna come back this way. Oh my god. Oh be careful. Oh my god, that you can see the fields just getting ripped. My goodness, what kind of fields are they? What's in them? Is it corn? I don't even know. It's just like soybeans and stuff. Tornadoes oh <gasps> Oh my god. It's so It's bad. It's bad. He's pulling over again. No, it's not gonna come back. It's not coming back. It already went through this. I think they're getting a picture of it. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh it went on the water. That's getting oh so much water. I really thought it was gonna hit us. I'm not even So that was a brief video by Paige. She was driving um, I, up I-94, uh, headed back to Grand Forks, North Dakota for school. And she uh, she seen the storm warning. Um, she didn't think that it was going to be a tornado. And then she come upon this tornado and she started recording. Um, National Weather Service says when if you are driving in a car and you cannot get to a safe spot you should find a low-lying area um, for safety so this is the update it was an EF4 tornado like I said peak winds was 170 miles per hour the time was 508 p.m. to 539 p.m. 
it estimated about 30 minutes on the ground. Thank you. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like and hit that bell notification. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I am James the Weatherman.